Alrighty. Welcome back. <laughs> we'll start in just a moment. Had to get some technical things going. And I'll close this. Okay, yeah, so if it is still vertical on your computer, might need to, okay. Okay, so if it is vertical on your computer, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going um, and just press the full screen and hopefully it'll turn horizontal on your screen. So try pressing full screen if you are doing some, if you're on um, the live right now. But we are gonna go ahead and Hey, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. And actually, just want to put my phone in. Do not disturb again. That one. Perfect. Cool. Can everyone? Oh, okay, cool. All right. Making sure the timer was still going. All right, you guys. After all of these mishaps, which no worries, this is life and everything is fine, <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you're good. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. Oh, let me double check this one thing. Cool. <laughs> and I probably should actually introduce myself just a little bit. I'm Ariana Elizabeth um, with Bright and Salted Yoga. And... Um, I'm originally from Los Angeles, California, currently residing in the Midwest, and I am a 500-hour registered yoga instructor, yoga sculpt instructor, um, dabbling in cycling as well. But today we will be doing vinyasa, and it will be very beginner-friendly, but also I have a few really good um, challenges and yummy stretches for you guys. So, all right, when you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. So you will bring your big toes to touch, knees wide to the mat, sink your hips back towards your heels, walk your hands out in front of you, spreading your fingertips wide, pressing the pads of your fingers into the mat, rest your forehead down onto the mat, find a deep breath in through the nose here, and an open mouth exhale, release it out. Another inhale, just like that. And open mouth exhale. Rest your forearms down onto the mat and maybe rock your forehead side to side, giving yourself a little forehead massage. And then begin to lift your forearms back up, coming onto your fingertips. Finding an inhale here, expanding the ribs. And a long exhale back out. Wonderful, let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. You can lift the crown of your head and begin to walk your hands over towards the left side, grounding down into the left palm, stacking the right palm on top of the left. Find an inhale here. And exhale, release it out. Sending some space into that right side body. One more just like that. 
and exhale. Beautiful, walking your hands through center over towards the right, grounding down into the right palm. This time, left palm comes on top of the right. Inhale here. Open mouth, exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, release it out. Beautiful. Walking the hands back through center and then gently rocking up to tabletop here. Bringing your knees underneath your hips, wrists underneath your shoulders. You always have an option to walk your hands out just slightly, <coughs> excuse me, just to take off any pressure from your wrists if it hurts a little bit or if it feels like a little bit too much pinching directly underneath your shoulders. So just walk your hands out slightly. And then begin to rock back and forth, kind of half circles going forward, maybe even taking it backwards, just to stretch out your wrists. Nothing too intense. You want to be very gentle with your wrists. Make sure you're taking it both ways. And then walk your hands slightly back towards your knees, face your fingertips to your knees. You'll feel this, <coughs> excuse me, on the back sides of your wrists. Feel free to gently rock side to side if that feels good. If you feel enough of a stretch just staying still, then you can stay still. If you ever feel any pinching or electrifying sensations, you definitely wanna back out of that posture we don't want anything to be painful. We're just trying to find our edge without pain. All right, then flip to the top of your right palm, gently rock side to side. Flip that right palm down and then come to the top of your left palm, rock side to side. And then left palm comes down. Walk your hands slightly out in front of you and rest your forehead down on the mat, coming into puppy pose. Breathing here. Really feeling that stretch in your shoulders, your upper back. And if you'd like to take it a little bit further, you can lift your forehead and begin to slide your chest towards the mat. If that's a bit too much, you can always stay right here with your forehead on the mat. Wherever you are is completely fine. One more breath in and exhale. Awesome. Begin to press back up and curl your toes underneath you. Come to sitting on your heels and just take this little toe stretch here. Breathing in, you can close your eyes, rest your palms down. If this begins to feel a little too intense, you can always untuck your toes. But we'll find one more inhale here. And an open mouth, exhale, release it out. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. And exhale, bring your palms behind you. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale. Release your palms back to the mat. Float your knees to the mat and just gently begin to rock back and forth, engaging your core here.
and then get ready to move into a turbo dog. So you're going to send your hips up and back, keeping your knees bent, staying on your toes here. Maybe the balls of your feet. Adjust yourself as needed, resting your belly on the tops of your thighs. Sending the weight to the L's of your hands, so the index finger and your thumb the most. Beautiful. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, begin to gently tiptoe your feet right behind your wrists. Still with that generous bend in your knees. And then inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, palms come out. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Another inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, generously bend into your knees. Melt your chest forward. Lift your wrists overhead. And a nice shoulder stretch. Dropping the crown of your head so that you can look directly behind you. And then gently begin to bend into the left knee, sending the left shoulder towards the left knee. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, bending into the right knee. Right shoulder comes to the right knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release your arms. You can come to grasping opposite elbows and let your head hang down low. Maybe rocking side to side here. Feeling that release in your lower back. Perfect. Good, good. And then grasp the opposite elbow just for balance. And as you're ready, release your fingertips to the mat. Straighten through your legs and roll on up, bit by bit, head coming absolutely last. Beautiful. Alrighty, oh, I'm gonna cut my head off, that's all right. Here, I'll scoot my phone up just a tad. All right, we'll start with just a sun A to kind of get a little movement going. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. And exhale, fold it forward, leading with your chest. Option to bend into the knees here. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift your chest just slightly, straightening through your legs, floating your fingertips to the mat, sucking that lower belly up and in. You can rock forward onto your toes a little bit here. Hold and breathe just for a moment, feeling it in the hamstrings. One more inhale and exhale, bend into your knees, plant your hands, step back, shift forward into high plank, hold and breathe here just for a moment, keeping your bum nice and low, engaging the core here. Just a little bit of core, deep breath in. Exhale, take your chaturanga, bend into your elbows, flip to the tops of your feet, inhale, lift the chest. Make sure your thighs are up and off of the mat and not slouched down on the mat. Exhale, send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, don't worry about if your heels are not all the way down on the mat, no worries at all. Inhale and exhale. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it over. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, fold it over. Inhale, half lift. 
and exhale, bend into your knees, plant your hands, step back, shift forward, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog, beautiful job. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, hop step or float to the middle of your mat. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, melt your chest forward. Bending into the knees here, inhale to chair pose. One of my favorite, favorite postures. Sitting nice and low, squeezing your thighs together. Sending your tailbone directly down to the mat. Nice straight back, you don't want a, a duck back. Shooting energy through your fingertips, deep breath in. Exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Send your arms directly back. Still sitting nice and low, deep breath in. Exhale, sweep your arms back up overhead. And forward fold, melt it over. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, right palm comes down. And maybe I'll face this way so you guys can see. Reach the left fingertips over towards the right side of the room. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand reaches over. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, bend into your elbows, lift your chest, send your hips forward, and breathe here, opening your heart, spreading your fingers. Beautiful, inhale, back to center, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift here, and exhale, bend into your knees, plant your hands, step back, take your vinyasa. Always know you have an option to come to your knees and lift your heels up towards your bum and take your vinyasa that way, your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your chest forward. Open mouth, exhale. And downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, bend into that right knee. Flex your toes. Maybe shift a little weight towards the left side. Opening up that right hip. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, step that right foot through. Getting ready to come to crescent lunge. Inhale to crescent lunge. On the right side, keeping the um, back left heel lifted and pressing that left heel forward, making sure that the right knee stays in line with the right ankle and doesn't go past that. Hold and breathe here. Nice, strong crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale to warrior two. Spin that left heel down. Relax your palms down, relax your shoulders. And now engage your arms so it feels as though someone's pulling you from either angle. Gazing over the right middle finger, deep breath in. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale, straighten through that front right leg and reverse your triangle, reaching the right arm up and over, little to no weight on that back left hand. Inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Take your vinyasa, so send your right foot back to meet your left. Option to take the full chaturanga or come to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale, sweep the left leg high. 
Exhale, bend into that left knee, flex your left toes. <clears throat> and open your left hip, shifting the weight into the right side. Inhale, back to center, squaring the hips. Exhale, step your left foot in between your hands, setting up for crescent on the left. Inhale to crescent on the left, pressing that right heel forward. Nice, strong lunge. You want to feel as though you're trying to hold something really wide and really heavy in your hands. Deep breath in. Exhale to warrior two. Spin that right heel down. Coming into your warrior two. Gazing over the left middle finger, nice and strong, engaging your arms. Making sure that your left knee does not go past your left ankle. Inhale, straighten through the front, left leg, and reverse your triangle, sweeping the left arm up and over. Inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Take your vinyasa. Know that you also have an option to do a double chaturanga here if you want to take a double push-up. That does help increase your strength pretty quickly. Inhale, lift your heart. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, come up to your toes. And exhale, send your heels a little closer to the mat. We'll do that whole thing one more time. Breath to movement, sun A included. So inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, hop, step, or float there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms up high. Exhale, right palm comes down, hinge over towards the right side. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, left palm comes down, reach over towards the left. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, bend into the elbows, lift your chest, send the hips forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold it over. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, bend into your knees, plant your hands. Step back, shift forward, option to come to your knees here if you'd like. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, bend into that right knee, three-legged dog. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, step that right foot through. Setting up for crescent, inhale up to crescent. And exhale to warrior two, pivoting the left heel down. Inhale, reverse your triangle, sweep the right arm up and over. Exhale. Cartwheel your hands down. Take your chaturanga or double chaturanga or on your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, bend into that leg. Shift the weight over towards the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, step your foot through, setting up for a crescent. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead to crescent on the left. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, straighten through the front left leg, sweep your left arm up and over. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog, awesome job, you guys. Deep breath in through the nose. 
open mouth exhale. And then you're warming up a little bit. One more inhale. And open mouth exhale. Now come to your knees. Come into that tabletop. Beautiful. Catch your breath here. Take a moment, whatever you need. If you need water, if you need a towel, take your time. Listen to your body always. Alrighty. So from here, we're going to step our right foot through and inhale up to a low lunge. Now, scoot your foot out as much as you need here. Now that we're warmed up, we can start getting into hips and all that good stuff. So you can keep your arms up overhead. Option to hold on to opposite elbows and send your hips forward. Maybe it feels more comfortable for you to keep your hands on your hips and send your hips forward that way. Whatever feels good to you, just breathe into this. If you notice that you're clenching your jaw, try removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth and sending a little space in between your teeth. One more inhale here. Exhale, release your hands. Um, frame your right foot. Begin to send your hips back, coming into a half split, flexing your toes towards your face. And you're gonna pull that left hip back, right hip forward to help square your hips. Imagine if you had a headlight on both of your hips, would the headlights be facing forward or would they be kind of off the road? You wanna make sure that they're forward. Breathing here, relaxing your head down. And then we're going to get into that IT band a little bit here. So what we're gonna do is you're going to keep that toe flexed, begin to walk your hands on the outside of your right thigh, just gently pivoting that right foot out just a little bit. You're gonna feel it most likely. Keeping your legs straight if possible. Breathing here. Again, relaxing your face, relaxing your jaw. And then bring it back forward. One more time into that low lunge. And place your palms back down. You can send that right knee back to meet the left. And we'll go ahead and step forward with our left foot, coming into low lunge on the left, sweeping your arms up. Option to grasp onto the opposite elbow this time, or again, sending your hands to your hips, whatever gives you the most stability, the most freedom, the best stretch, whatever allows you to breathe freely. One more breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Begin to send your hips back. Fingertips frame your left foot, coming onto your left heel, flexing your left toes towards you, pulling that left hip back, right hip forward, melting your chest over your left thigh. Definitely realize and understand that both legs may not feel the same. Most likely they won't. There's nothing wrong with that. The, my left leg is definitely my more flexible leg and that's completely fine and normal. Some things you may be able to do on one side and not so much on the other. Totally normal. Resting your forehead down, breathing here. Keeping a little space in between your teeth, relaxing your brows. And then as you're ready, begin to walk your hands over towards the left, slightly bringing your 
pinky edge side of your foot towards the mat. Trying to keep that leg straight. That's how you'll feel it in, in that IT band. One more breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release it out. Walking your hands back to center. Let's take that low lunge one more time. And bring your palms back to the mat. Knees come back to the mat. We'll take a dancing lion here. So just send your hips to the left, roll them back towards your heels, roll them forward. Option to bring your head, your necks, and your neck, everything. And don't forget to take it the other way. Remember, you want this to be as organic and catered to your body as possible. This is all for you. Wonderful. Inhale, roll back up to tabletop. And we'll take a few spinal rolls here. They feel super, super good. So inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, dome the spine starting with cat and cow, and then shift your hips back. Deep inhale here, exhale, rock it forward, dome the spine. Inhale, drop your belly, rock it back. Exhale, dome the spine, rock it forward. Start to get the hang of it if you're new to Spinal rolls, they feel so good. Just take about three more. Last one. Beautiful, come back to sitting on your heels. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift the chest, and this time we'll move into rabbit. So you'll lift your hips up, bring the crown of your head to the mat, and lift your shoulders over your head this way. A little inversion here. One more breath in. Exhale. Release your grip, palms come to the mat, press back up, refluff your puff, <laughs> inhale, curl your toes, and send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, take a breath in here, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, hop, step, or float to a seat on your mat, coming to laying down all the way on your mat. And just breathe here for a moment so I can check my time. Gotta make sure I don't keep you guys here for an hour. Ooh, okay, almost done. <laughs> all right, last thing, lift the right sole of your foot and bring that heel towards the inner um, left hip. Now, if you want to work on your lotus, you're gonna bring that heel towards your inner left hip. If you want to feel it more in your hip, you're going to bring your right ankle to your left knee, whatever you would like to work on. Begin to float that left foot to the mat and then interlace your fingers, bring them on the outside of your left knee and begin to draw that left knee in. So you're either gonna feel that stretch in your knee or you're gonna feel it in your hip. 
Whatever serves you today is totally fine. So take three breaths here. Beautiful, gently release. Bring both feet down onto the mat and then stamp your left foot to the ceiling, flex your toes, deep breath in. Exhale, bring either your left heel in towards your right hip or your left ankle to the top of your right knee. Interlace your fingers on top of your right knee. Deep breath in here. Exhale, draw your right knee towards your chest, breathe here. Two more breaths. Last one. Beautiful release. Keep floating your feet to the mat. Arms come out to a T or overhead. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop the knees over towards the right. Always gotta get a good twist in. Gaze over your left shoulder. You can use your right hand to pull your knees down a little bit more if you want a deeper twist. Two breaths in here. All right, inhale, knees come back up through center. Exhale, over towards the left. Left hand comes to your outer right knee for a deeper twist, gazing over the right shoulder. Two breaths here. Inhale back to center. Soles of your feet come to the mat, come to the edges of your mat. You can bring your knees in together, arms overhead. Take a moment to relax, release your jaw, release any tension in your arms and your shoulders, in your mind. Allow yourself to just be for the next 10 seconds. Of course, know that you can always stay here as long as your time permits. But if you are ready to continue on with your day, you'll gently roll over into fetal pose. Whichever side is comfortable to you, using your bicep as a pillow, taking a moment to acknowledge moving your practice from your mat to your daily life. Then begin to press up through your palm. Eyes can stay closed or you can keep a soft gaze towards the floor. You can bring your palms together to your forehead to remind yourself of positive thoughts. You're halfway through the week. And even though you are almost to the weekend, reminding yourself that your present moment, your opportunity, is right now. So try not to look too far into the future and remind yourself of where you are right now, this present moment. Bringing your palms to your lips to remind yourself to speak kindly to others and especially speak kindly to yourself. What you say to yourself is a reflection of what you say to others and how you treat others. Speak kindly to yourself because you are listening to yourself. Bring your palms to your heart to remind yourself that you're loved, you're special, you're worthy, you are important, you matter, you're significant, you have a purpose on this earth, you're not a fluke, a coincidence, you were intentionally created 
in love. Find an inhale here. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. You can flutter your eyes open. God bless. Namaste, friends. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for sticking around with me <laughs> through our little technical difficulties, but no worries. You see, life continues, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, a wonderful rest of your day, and to know that you're blessed. And yeah, thank you so much. Let me scoot forward so I can see the screen now. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad you enjoyed already. I will go ahead and end this live. We're a little bit over. Thank you so much to Pop Sugar for having me. Um, and yes, I will see you all in the future. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> all right. Bye, friends. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs>